Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to change the motor in your DJI Mavic 2, Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom uh, drone. Uh, the motor is, uh, it has four motors, uh, one in each arm and usually people replace the whole arm instead of just the motor but you can get the motor way more cheaper if you do the actual replacement of the motor and also the motor is much easier replaceable than replacing the entire arm and uh, that's why it makes sense to create this video so let me show you let's get started I took this unit uh, I this was broken and I made another video about that how to change the whole arm because my actual arm was broken and uh, this motor is still good but but another motor came with a new arm so i want to instead of throwing this away i'll save the motor and also teach you guys how to disengage or disassemble this and transfer it to another unit or buy a new motor and how to replace it okay so let's get started if you look at this motor at the bottom you see there's a little uh, kind of line it shows like it's one piece but it's actually separatable from there you could use your nails or, or a prying tool like something like this and you could actually on one side is actually there's a little notch if you look and you just simply insert that and twist it it's not that simple um, it's gonna be a little bit challenging uh, mine appears simple because I up once I opened already so and then you press it this way with the help of a little flat head screwdriver and there you go now if you notice there are a couple of uh, these uh, type of uh, hooks like uh, that go underneath and uh, that's basically what's holding it uh, and not to mention maybe a little bit of glue or something because I do see some kind of a uh, glue residue right here <coughs> so some glue with the help of that now this is the LED you you have no actually if you need to change the LED this is where you can change the LED as well but now we are dealing with the motor, so let's get on replacing the motor. Uh, we need a, actually, it's a, a hexagon, a hex head, uh, which is a size, let's see what size this is, size V2, CR V2. And uh, and if you want to know the millimeter, let me see actually the how many millimeters the thing is. Let's find out. So it's about two millimeters actually exactly two millimeters that's uh, the size of the socket okay now let's open this they are not that difficult to use the drill I mean I actually opened it with this with without the drill let's see I actually don't want to destroy it or damage it with the drill, so I'm doing it manually. Okay. And this is our motor, as you can see. So, once you get to the motor, you could remove this locking pin. Let me zoom in a little more. So you could remove this locking pin, slide the actual motor uh, magnet part out, and then underneath the coil, desolder these cables and resolder the new ones. But I don't recommend that. Why? Because the coil, actual coil, as you can see, let me get a pointing device here. The actual coil that you can see there, this coil is way too close to these solderings, and you could damage, most likely you will damage if you do that. So instead, this is what I recommend. I recommend cutting this and just about here, cutting it from not too much because you're not going to have too much room to pull this. Why are you not going to have too much room? Because these will be, uh, let me zoom out so you can see. The reason you will not have too much room is because the other end is soldered inside. So it doesn't give in as if you push the water doesn't, uh, I mean the, the cable doesn't come out. So that's why you barely have a little bit room and you want to cut it right here let me cut it and show you what i mean 
So from the old motor, the defective motor, you cut it very sh uh, short because that motor is defective. Mine is, isn't defective, so I need to save this motor. So I'm not gonna cut it short. But in your case, you can cut it from the base. In my case, I'll cut it from here so I could still use this motor, okay? Now, once you cut this, let's say this is your new motor, do the same thing with the new motor, cut it right here, and you will have these wires. These wires will be a little longer because remember, you cut it from the base from the bad motor. So they will be a little longer. Now what you need to do is you need to put, strip the cables first. Let me strip them for you. Like I said, there, there will be very little room for stripping because these will be soldered. So you're not gonna, the other end will be soldered. So you're not gonna have too much room. And I'm gonna do it with great uh, caution. This is way too, too big. I mean, way too small. It, if, if your stripper is too small, it will damage. I believe number 20 is the one I want. So let's strip this with number 20. It's good to get a longer uh, gauge and instead of damage the wire. So I'm going to choose 20. Let me see the hole. Yeah, 20 should be fine. You have to look at the hole, see how big the hole is. And based on the size of the hole, you choose the right one. So now that's too way too big. So I have to go to the smaller stripper and choose 22 gauge. And that's what it was. It was 22 gauge. As you can see, the wire was successfully stripped without damaging the actual copper. Now what we do, once we strip this, we use the motor side, this is going to be your good motor, and do the same thing. Now what we need to do is we need three pieces of heat shrinks, small heat shrink. I will be using yellow color like this and I'm gonna cut it in three pieces small pieces that is shrink tubing is extremely important because you don't want these wires short out because if they do short out in the middle of the air two thousand dollar drone is down the drain okay I may be exaggerating, I mean, this is not $2,000, but still, you know, even a thousand DJI Mavic 2 Pro, just the drone without the remote is, is about a thousand. I mean, when this video was shot, I'm sure a couple of years, it's probably going to be $500. Okay. Okay, now we need the soldering iron. We have to heat it up uh, to 750 degrees, depending on, on the type of uh, solder that we are using. Mine melts in 220, I mean uh, 750 degrees. Okay, let's see. back to that camera because that ca the other camera you don't see anything don't overheat the cable because if you overheat the cable the heat shrink will shrink in its place so that's the thing you have to be very careful and make sure the cables are all straight and no cables or you know you know the small little uh, conductors of the cable copper conductors are not like a floating around like this one is not acceptable see you have to make sure they're all together I even twist them but I don't have room to twist them at this such a small scale I believe my soldering iron is way too hot let me lower the temperature oh 
Okay, rosin comes in handy, or soldering paste, or rosin, whatever you want to call it. This is rosin, but you can use soldering paste. So I need that in order to uh, get a decent solder joint. I don't want to uh, get uh, cold solder joints. So. Okay, that's a, it's a no-brainer that each color goes to its corresponding color. So. Make sure there is no cold soldering joint. If there is, do it again. It's good to do it two, three times than to get a cold soldering jo joint and uh, have the drone fall from the sky. Because that's thousands of dollars, you know. This, the third one is a little hard because the other cables are moving around and they don't let the third one. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use something to hold the motor. So the motor is not moving. Okay, so the solder joints seem pretty, pretty nice. It doesn't seem like they're cold solder joints. This one is a little off. As you can see, it's a little off. I don't like that. So if you see one that's a little off, just do it again instead of doing a sloppy job. Now that is a beautiful hot solder joint. It's not a cold joint. Okay, now what do we do now? We slide those over. Slide them over so the wires don't touch, touch each other. Remember, if the wires touch each other, it shorts out not only the motor and stops the motor, it actually kills the transistors or fats that are feeding that motor so now you need heat gun the good old heat gun this is the Wagner heat gun and they are successfully sh shrunk in, heat shrinks are shrunk, and now you f push the wire in again, push it in. You, you're gonna have a little hard time pushing it in because uh, remember that you will not have the luxury to pull it from here because this is inside the drone. So what you will need to do is you are going to kind of push the cables in like this like this like this okay now you will put the screws back in Okay, now for final assembly, I'm just going to use the drill because I cannot rely on my hand power to make, uh, basically to judge and say that the cable is, uh, the, the screws are tight enough. So I'm, I will use maybe the second level.
I, I, I chose uh, the second so that you know. Okay, now what do I do? I snap this back in. Now it doesn't hurt to put a little bit of super glue, very just a little bit, so it doesn't come loose in midair. Okay, so put a little bit of super super glue because they use super glue. I can see it here. Some kind of a black glue is what they used. Fish the wire in with this. You don't have the luxury to pull it from the other end because the other end is attached to the drone. The back snaps and then the front snaps and voila we have a working new motor in the arm of a DJI drone now this part where what that holds the propeller doesn't come with a new motor so you have to transfer that from the old motor the black part right here you can watch my other video that explains how you do that uh, because that's another can of worms that you need to deal with so yeah there that is by the way this is the heat shrink that I use I use the yellow ones the smallest one and uh, these were the pliers that I used you know basically that's tools wise that's that's all the tools I used okay I hope uh, this was uh, educational and you learned a thing or two please make sure to like and subscribe thank you for watching